Hello everybody, Dr. Mixable here, today with another Minecraft tutorial, or I guess this will be the first one ever uploaded to my channel, but I'm going to have more, um, and I'm going to be showing you a completely automatic um, reed farm. You won't ever have to harvest it yourself. No, pist no having to flip a lever so the piston pushes or push a button or whatever. You will literally just be able to walk by and if you see reeds, pick them up and uh... it uses the bud switch and pistons basically so uh... let's get started first off you're gonna want to start with making your bud switch a bud switch is a block update switch which basically means whenever a block updates around a, another block it flashes and basically oh, let me show you i'll just build it so you want to start by putting uh... a cobble or, a, or any block and under that block you want to put a redstone torch then you want to actually hold on before you put the redstone torch one deep and you get out a uh, sticky piston and you place it right there and then you place the clean the the block you want above that redstone and directly next to it like that then you put a repeater next to that st that block you placed you take the redstone you place it you place a piece of redstone uh next to that repeater like that and you can basically just see what I'm doing and you bring it up here now that is your block update switch. So if I put a like just any update next to it. So if I were to if I were to put dirt here and grass were to grow, it would update. If I were to put a piece of redstone here, see it it flashes like that. It does a whoosh flash. And so if you see up here when I remove it, it temporarily goes dark, so that removes the power. And so I'm going to show you how I use this to make the farm. So what you want to do after you've made your butt, as you can see, there's my tests. Um, you want to take it and bring it to around, like so, or just so that the signal doesn't touch the piston, and just drag it out to about here or wherever. It just depends. You have to mess around with it first. And then you want to take the signal, and you want to drag it over here, repeat it so you have enough power, and then take it right here and once you get to this corner you want to invert it so to, in order to do inverter you just put a block and then put a redstone torch on the other end so now it's no, now it's uh, not powered then you want to place one piece of redstone and you want to repeat again and i'll explain why later so then you just drag your redstone signal and you drag it out one two three four uh... Let's see how many blocks is that one two three four five six seven eight and then you want to just carry the redstone current along all that and then you would place a sticky piston here 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 that's three four five six seven oh and here eight there's eight sticky pistons and then you want to actually oops i messed up sorry you just remove this redstone here and you instead of putting redstone there which I messed up at. Eh. You actually want to put repeaters along here. Sorry. And then you want to take the the blocks and you want to put another row of blocks behind it so that you can carry redstone behind that like so. And you want to connect it to that that line of course. Um and then you want to put another row of sticky pistons right above it. So like this um, and then after that just so I can show you what I'm talking about you want to dig a eight long not uh, a trench that goes as long as these pistons and then one more so nine long and then you place water at the end here and that'll go right up to that last block and then you put a pressure plate at the end and that'll be your collection zone and you can just decorate that by putting clean stone there I don't know whatever you want to do basically um, and then he, along the sides you want to place your reeds and this is where your reeds go obviously and you can put it on the side too because I'm going to show you how to make, get the most out of one bud and I'm sure you can combine this but I'm just going to show you how to make uh, two rows so then you want to carry you want to put more clean stone so that it wraps around one more so that it goes like so and then you want to have it come out so if it, once that clean stone lines up with here, you want to have it come out uh, three, I believe. See, because it's piston. Yes, three. And then you just pull that out so that it lines up with the other one. So right there. And then you want to place 
double row because you need to put repeaters and redstone. Yep, there we go, me failing. And then you want to go over here where you had this one and you just want to connect it and you want to put a repeater here so that you can carry the signal across. And I like to just put another repeater um, here just in case. I don't. I'm sure you don't need that many repeaters, but it's just in case. And you drag the redstone across the back, and you drag. You put the repeaters. Oop, you don't want any notches on these repeaters. None. You don't need them. Uh, there's no delay that's necessary and whatnot. And so that lines up. And then you want to go and you want to place your sticky pistons again. So, oop. One piston, 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 and another row above it. Um, okay, so that's it for the pistons that will actually push the uh, papyrus. Now next, I'm going to show you what you do. There you go. Pull under here. So that this, I'm going to show you what your block update is. And the block update for this is going to be papyrus growing. And the way that works is you put water down there so that you can place a papyrus. Now, that means whenever this papyrus grows up to here, all the pistons will extend and break all the papyrus. I don't know, I'm going to show you that again. So, if you look over there, when I put the papyrus here, which will happen automatically as this papyrus grows, all those pistons push out and would destroy all of those uh, papyrus. Now this you never need to harvest because, as I'll show you, um, what's going to happen is we're going to have a uh, regular piston here. And that regular piston is going to push this block whenever um, or here instead so you can save room and not dig all that out is you will just have a a piston this way and you'll have a repeater in the back so that it gets power obviously and then you want to drag the redstone and you want to bring it so that it m lines up with Er, so that the redstone, the power that comes to this piston comes before this repeater. Now that's very important because otherwise when you do, when, because um, that way I'm going to show you here. Actually, I'll explain to you why it's very important in a second. But basically that means whenever you up, whenever this um, papyrus grows up three, as I'm going to place, this piston is also going to push and break it so that it has another chance to grow. So while this one grows, all of those will grow as well. And so when this one reaches three, it'll reach those. So basically, whenever you want, all those papyrus will be down there. And so if you're just walking by, I'm just going to place some papyrus so that you can see how it works. Um, now bear in mind, it's not going to get all the papyrus every single time because that's just, it doesn't happen sometimes. So it'll grow three. This will break these papyrus, and those papyrus will break, and they will float down to you. Um, and so, obviously some are going to get stuck there, because that just happens, but you can put a... Uh, you can surround all of this. This can be enclosed, so that um, you avoid some of them flying out in the back here. But I'm just showing you the outline. So you could close that up, so when these knock down this papyrus, they won't fly out. And then you could also um, put uh, blocks back under those pistons so that they don't fly under there. I don't know. It just You can make it however you like. Um, but I'm just showing you the basic structure. And then if you want, if you need some, for ever, whatever reason, you really need some reeds, then you can um, put in a reset switch, which I'm going to do now. And so all you need to do is place a block here and just drag this redstone current and you want to put it oh, you don't need these and you just want to drag it and put it right over to this side where or actually in fact you could just let me just hold on you could just take the reset switch and it needs to be over here after the repeater and I'll show you why because once uh, I'm just gonna put um, repeater going this way because the power is going to come. So let's say this is your collection zone, right? And you have a... Oops, I need a lever. There we go. Um, so you put a lever down, right? And then it, this becomes a master switch. So I can flick the switch and it'll push them all. But when I push these all, 
And when I, when I push them all, it won't push this um, piston. As you see, there's no power to this piston with this reset line because of this repeater. If the repeater hadn't been there, the power would have come back and pushed that. So it also would have reset your, your timer on your papyrus. And I guess you could have it anyway. But with this, if you just see a couple there and you only need three, you can just push it and reset those. Like, let's say you just harvested them. And you realize you need three more to make another book so you can make your enchanter. Then you can just push that and when you see those and that way you don't mess up the timing on your other papyrus that's growing back there your bud switch timer so that's that's the the, th the neat thing that I did with um this reset switch or with this override switch and with that repeater so that's basically it that's my completely fully automatic uh papyrus farm because you will never have to touch it or you will never have to touch it in order to harvest it you can with that reset or with that override switch that I put there so that you can harvest a few you need or whatever but otherwise that papyrus down there will grow and when it grows to the third notch it will activate that bud switch which will turn off temporarily turn off the power which will in turn power these because of the inverter thus pushing all the pistons out and knocking down the papyrus which will then float down to your collection zone Oop, a little bit of lag there and also the power from when that third papyrus grows will come and push this piston so that you get a nice reset and it doesn't collect it every uh, so it doesn't collect it only when that one grows one while these are growing two they will all grow two at the same time so i hope this tutorial has been helpful if you get confused on anything feel free to ask in the comments or go back and rewatch the video i'm going to give you an overview of it real quick so you can see get nice and high so you can see where everything is and uh... i hope you enjoy and this is helpful